How to build Microsoft Cognitive Toolkit CNTK. We will install Git and clone CNTK source code. Then we will install the required tools, which are Visual Studio 2015 Update 3, CUDA Toolkit 8, and the developer installation script, which will install a bunch of required tools and software. Finally, we will build CNTK and test it. If you don't have Git installed already, you can download GitHub Desktop from GitHub website, which will install Git command and the GUI tool for you. Otherwise, you can download and install command-based Git from Git website, which I will use here. In the installation process, you can leave all the options as, defa as default or change them based on your needs. After the installation is finished, open a command line window and check git version to make sure git is installed. Now you can create a folder and clone cntk from github.com microsoft cntk. It will take some time depending on your network connection. When it's done, clone multiversal module with this command. Uh, this sub-module is used for training on multiple GPUs and machines. If you don't need this sub-module, you can set the environment variable CNTK enable, enable ASGD to false. Next, we will install the required tools, which include Visual Studio 2015, NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 8, and Developer Installation Script. If you have Visual Studio 2015 already installed, make sure you have the Update 3 version and that you have installed common tools for Visual C++ 2015. Uh, to install Visual Studio 2015, search Visual Studio older version and go to the web page, to this web page, download older Visual Studio software, click on download Visual Studio 2015 and other product. Note that to get to this page, you will need to join Visual Studio Dev Essentials, which is free, or use your MSDN subscription. If you have not enrolled in Visual Studio Dev Essentials, you will be prompted to join. Also, you can go to Visual Studio Dev Essentials webpage, log in with your Microsoft account, and join. When you get to download page, search for Visual Studio 2015 Update 3 and download it. For CNTK development, you need Visual Studio 2015. Do not install an older version or version 2017. In the installation process of Visual Studio, select Custom and add common tools for Visual C++ 2015. Also, if you don't need Microsoft Web Developer Tools, you can remove it. Uh, the installation will take some time. When Visual Studio is installed, download and install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 8 from NVIDIA's web page. You can select Network or Local Installer. Note that we have to install CUDA Toolkit after installing Visual Studio, since it adds tools to Visual Studio environment. Also, even if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you can still install CUDA Toolkit and build CNTK with GPU support. When Visual Studio and CUDA Toolkit are installed, run the developer installation script. It will install the rest of required tools and softwares. The script is in the Tools Dev Install Windows subfolder of the CNTK folders that we cloned. It's a PowerShell script and we run it with remote signed execution policy. If you get any error during the installation, simply rerun the script and it will pick up the installation from where it failed. Now we can start building CNTK and test it. Open Visual Studio, go to File and select Open Project Solution. Locate the folder that we cloned CNTK and find CNTK Solution and open it. Right click on CNTK Solution and select Properties. Go to Configuration Properties and select Configuration Manager. Here we can change the build configuration uh, debug and release means that we are building CNTK with GPU support. When you are done, right-click on CNTK solution and select Build. To test the build, open the command window and navigate to Tutorial Hello World Logistic Regression. CNTK execution file is located under CNTK folder and depending on your build configuration, it could be under x64 or x86 and release debug or release debug with CPU only. 
set the config file to be equal to the cntk script and make mode equal to false. If the build was successful, you will see the result of the training on your screen. If you have built CNTK with GPU support, you can set device ID equal to auto to train on GPU. And this is how you build CNTK.